Welcome to Mimir's Forge. Today we are building the Terminator Salvation movie poster as a diorama model. First we cut an XPS board in half. This will be the base. I printed out a template and transferred the most important areas to the XPS foam. I love the Terminator series. Part 1 blew me away as a kid, part 2 was amazing. I put a lot of heart and soul into this project, however, I have to admit that at this point I really underestimated the effort involved. To better show off the shape of the Terminator's face, I cut away some XPS foam around the face. I do the same for the eyes and nose. I made a map of the most important streets and highways and transferred their positions to the XPS. I use clay especially for the highways. I flattened it first. Then I put the strips in position. To fix the clay, I use a mixture of water and PVA glue. I cut polystyrene into strips. And I make a lot of little pieces out of it. The little pieces are meant to become hoses. To fix these, I first coat an area with PVA glue and then put them in position piece by piece. It's really a lot of houses. I speed this up a bit. Yes, that's really something you dwell on for a long time. I tried to place the houses with a purpose, so that later no house is without a street and would therefore be inaccessible. I think that makes a difference in the end when you look at it. I placed loads of these little houses, however, there is also a larger building in this area, which I am making from XPS foam. This is how a small property is created. I don't know what's there, maybe a university, a hospital or an office complex. After that other small houses follow. There's a river in this area. To do this I mark the area that the river should occupy. Using a soldering iron, I burn the riverbed into the XPS foam. The river should look very dark. That's why I paint the riverbed dark brown. With the pipette, I fill the river with dark blue resin. A large number of other houses were placed. I heat the head of a screw to burn craters into the XPS foam. I use various screws and nails for this. I use putty to model the rim of the craters.
entire crater landscapes are created in this way. Craters are also formed where there are no depressions. And yes, more houses. Larger buildings made of XPS foam are created in the mouth area. Later the buildings should look like teeth. This round building, it could be a hall or a stadium, is quite conspicuous. I placed more small buildings. Now I use putty to build ruins. More houses, more ruins. Now I'm ready to seal the surface with a mix of water and PVA glue. The first to be painted are the highways. However, I later decided to paint them even darker. I also paint some smaller streets. I try to make this logical, so that every building is connected to the road network. Since the eyes will later be illuminated with LEDs, I make a hole for the cables. The crater areas are now painted with dark brown acrylic paint. Areas inside the head are painted in lighter colors. This is how the basic color model is created. Details will follow later. Here the stadium gets its basic color. Likewise the buildings in the mouth area. Like I said, the highways are getting a little darker. Grass is growing in some areas, so they get a green tint. Some roofs get a white roof. Here I highlight a few areas. The LEDs are being prepared. Shrink tubing for safety. Now the LEDs are placed in the eyes. The cables just fit through the holes. I glue cotton to the LEDs with PVA glue. In the end, it should look like explosions. I don't have an airbrush, so I diluted acrylic paint with a lot of water to paint the cotton with it. I'm not very happy with it, but for now it has to be like this. By painting, the cotton sticks together. The beautiful explosion effect suffers as a result. I'll add more cotton. I paint the edges black. And this is the finished result. Please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Thank you for watching.